Hey guys, this is Derek with Automatic Door and Hardware. Today I'm going to be wiring up a Stanley rotary switch lace. Um, so um, I got my harness right here um, and we have, uh, so this is gonna be the end that plugs into the actual rotary switch. Um, and this is like for your six position um, switch knob or key, it's gonna be the same one. Um, and then on the other end, you got just your, uh, you got a black, orange, brown, yellow, red, green. Um, so we're gonna be wiring this into the control. Um, so right here I have a uh, 185-101 Pro Control. Uh, this wiring is gonna work for the yellow model 18500, the 18500-1, 1, the 185-101, the 185-101-1, and the, um, the newer white label controller. So it'll work for your yellow, your black, and your white label controls, computer controls. Um, so, what we're gonna need is we're gonna need uh, TB2. Um, so we're gonna pull this, I'm gonna pull this out. Um, you can see here, when you pull it out, so this only goes in one way, obviously, and it's numbered on the board here from one to 10. So you can see that the top is gonna be here and that's gonna be number one, and then you're gonna go all the way down to 10. So that's gonna be important for when I wire this up. Um, so first, <coughs> first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna go with the black wire and black wire is going to go into number one. So on the side, you can see there's uh, screws to, to uh, lock down on these wires. This one's sticking together. All right, so go black here. And just tighten it down. Make sure you're not tightening down on the shielding. The cape, the, uh, I've seen people do that before and you're not making a good connection and then uh, this will end up not working. Then it's also nice to get a gentle tug on there too to make sure that it is snug down enough. Um, next, we are going to be using yellow for number two. So we're gonna go here, yellow. Tighten it down. Same thing here, give it a little gentle tug. Uh, then next is red. And then orange. Or sorry, not black, brown. And I'm gonna go over to with you guys what these are actually on this um, this uh, terminal block. So um, last one, green is gonna we're gonna skip one. So which is number six? We're gonna skip six and we're gonna go into seven. So just give a gentle tug, make sure everything's working. Um, then you should be able to plug this back in and test it. Um, and it should work. But uh, let me go over these with you real quick, guys. So this black wire right here, this is your hold to open input. Um, so this corresponds to the hold to open position on your rotary switch. This yellow right here is your common. So it needs this, it basically completes um, the circuit with any one of these other legs um, to get the controller to put it in the proper mode. Um, red is gonna be your auto input right here, which is your two-way traffic where sensors on both sides of the door will activate. Um, orange is um, common, uh, so that's your, your auto common. Um, and then we have brown which is your one-way input um, which meet which will turn the um, exterior sensor off keep and only allow the interior sensor to work um, the door and then uh, we skip that one and then the red is um, a hold open input so this one will power the door in the open position and allow it and just keep it open indefinitely until you get come off that function
So there you go. There you go, guys. That's how you wire in the uh, Stanley rotary or key switch um, into any one of the Stanley computer controls. Uh, thanks for watching.